Lebar's hereditary optic neuropathy. Other names for this disease include hereditary optic neuropathy, Lebar's disease, Lebar's optic atrophy. It is a mitochondrial disease that is generally confined to the optic nerve and it is an important cause of blindness in otherwise normal people, especially in males, as a result of degeneration of retinal ganglion cells and their axon. The disease has been re recognized as a distinctive syndrome characterized by acute or subacute severe bilateral visual loss, commonly in young males, which may develop simultaneously or more commonly sequentially. The time interval between affected eyes averages 8 weeks and the duration of progression of visual loss in each eye is usually a period of 1 to 6 weeks. Although the commonest age at onset is between 11 to 30 years of age, patients outside this age range are not uncommon. The mode of inheritance. The mode of inheritance is um, through the mitochondria and the mitochondria are inherited from the mother and not the father. In the process of egg formation, there is thought to be a bottleneck in mitochondrial number such that the unfertilized egg may have as few as a thousand mitochondria and this number increases after the ovum is fertilized. The mitochondria contains their own DNA, mitochondrial DNA or mtDNA and during development there may be selective amplifications of some of these um, mitochondrial DNA mo molecules which leads to increase or decrease in the presence of uh, mutated uh, uh, mitochondrial DNA. So this picture helps to explain the mode of inheritance. You can see the sperm cell and the egg cell and during fertilization the head of the sperm cell fuses with the egg cell and the mitochondrial that accompanies the sperm cell is left out but the mitochondrial within the egg cell then um, takes care of the fertilization process and hence the offsprings um, get their mitochondrials from their mom. Pathogenic mutation. Almost all Leber's patients harbor one of three common mitochondrial point mutations in the mitochondrial complex 1 subunit genes of the oxidative phosphorylation chain, which includes the 3460G2A in ND1 gene, the 11778G2A in ND4 gene, the 14484T2C in ND6 gene. The 11778G2A mutation is the commonest cause of Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy. The patient harboring the 14484T2C have better prognosis for some visual recovery compared to patients harboring the 3460G2A or the 11778G2A mutations. So this is an image of the mitochondrial, the oxidative phosphorylation. So you can see in this complex one, this is where the mutation occurs. So those genes that were in the previous slide, they are all present within this place and it's the mutation that causes the um, Leber's optic neuropathy disease. Environmental factors. Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy is a genetic disorder primarily due to mutations in the mitochondrial DNA. However, environmental factors are thought to precipitate the visual failure, so identifying environmental triggers can be key to disease prevention. And these environmental factors include smoking, alcohol intake, nutritional deprivation, metabolic disturbances, exposure to toxins or industrial toxins. Clinical presentation. This disease occurs in two phases, the acute phase and the atrophic phase. In the acute phase, affected individuals are usually entirely asymptomatic until they develop visual blurring affecting the central vision field in one eye. Similar symptoms appear in the other eye an average of 8 weeks later. In an estimated 25% of cases, visual loss is bilateral at onset. 
the ocular fundus may have a characteristic appearance that includes deep swelling, edema of the peripapillary nerve fiber layer, retinal telangiectasia, and an increased vascular toxicity. The changes may be subtle. Approximately 20% of affected individuals show no fundal abnormalities. Visual acuity is severely reduced to counting fingers or worse in most cases and visual field testing um, Goldman perimetry a similar technique shows an enlarging central or centrosical scotoma. The atrophic phase after the acute phase, the optic disc becomes atrophic. Significant improvement in visual acuity are rare. In most individuals, vision remains severely impaired and within the legal requirement for blind registration. The diagnosis. The diagnosis can be made according to the clinical presentation by family history. Um, ophthalmologic assessment. So we check for the visual acuity. Um, color vision, visual field examination. We will do electrophysiologic studies, cranial imaging like M uh, MRI to be able to exclude other causes of um, optic neuropathy in general. And then finally conclude our diagnosis by doing a molecular genetic testing for mitochondrial genes associated with Leber's disease. Differential diagnosis it includes Ischemic optic neuropathy, optic neuritis, deafness, dystonia, optic neuropathy, infiltrative or neoplastic processes, inflammatory and infectious processes, autosomal dominant optic atrophy. Treatment. So currently, there is no available treatment. But then management of affected individuals is largely supportive um, by providing like visual aids. Occupational rehabilitation and registering the person with the relevant social services. Um, small studies have shown that therapies involving ubiquinone and idibinone may provide possible benefits during the acute and chronic phase of the disorder, but they are, st they are still in the works and not widely available yet.